Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. In 1966, I got my first ham radio license and my dad bought me a Johnson Viking Adventurer transmitter. 50 watts plate power input. I believe the final amplifier was an 807 vacuum tube. And the instruction manual, as I recall, for that E.F. Johnson Viking Adventure transmitter called for the uh, operator to test it with a dummy load first before putting it on the air with a real antenna. And as I recall, it's a long time ago, so my, I may not recall perfectly, it was, I used a 60 watt incandescent light bulb. I got a ceramic lamp holder, screwed an ordinary 60 watt incandescent household light bulb into it, connected the coax to the little screw terminals on the bottom of that ceramic holder, and then I believe uh, I had a PL259 connector on the other end, screwed it into the back of the EF Johnson transmitter and practiced tuning that thing up according to the instruction manual. You peak the grid current and you dip the plate current. The thing had a crystal uh, to determine its frequency. Novices back then novice class licensees were restricted to crystal control for their frequency. So I had a little crystal that was in the novice 40 meter band, tuned it up, watched the light bulb glow. There was no mention of what the standing wave ratio might be. Uh, there was no mention about reactance or characteristic impedance or radiation resistance or dissipation resistance in this case. It was just plug it in, tune it up and go. Oh, I wish life were that simple these days. Just plug the old body in, tune it up and go. It was that way really for this old codger until recently when as age would have it. The aging old human carcass has a couple of caveats attached to it. It never gets out of this life alive. And when your number's up, it's up. And trite scan is off, so it's, it's not making any noise. But with that, just a story, just a story from more than 50 years ago when using a transmitter and testing it was so easy and it, it may have put out 25 watts of RF on 40 meters, but that was en enough to make a lot of contacts and I enjoyed every last one of them. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV saying 73 and so long, which then is now translated and translates in my native fist to da 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 da.